1, 2, 3. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Rosa? Are you doing great? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you. How was your day today? Mm, um, a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah. and, and how were your homework? I mean, how were your homework forms on the platform? Did you do them? Um, Did you complete them? Yes. Uh, uh, no. Ten, ten, pero, uh, I think, I think, I think, ten. Yes. Uh, homework. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should you should do number ten and also the midterm, mm -hmm. the midterm test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, no problem then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. How was today, teacher? Oh, thanks for asking. My day was good. My day was good, really good, because I had enough time to be with my little girl, the one that is that is um, three years old. So we went out and we stayed on, on the swimming pool, the little one. <laughs> yeah, so we had enough time to be together today. Yes. Mm hmm yeah it, it was good yeah it was a good day a relaxing day for me today yeah, yeah. Relaxing. It, okay. yes even though i had something to do in my work but also i had enough time to be with my little girl mm -hmm. okay. yeah it was possible today yes <laughs> mm -hmm. do you do you have kids um yeah my my son daughter uh, do, my, son? Uh, one my daughter to my son oh so uh, you have a daughter and you have a son okay uh -huh. uh, my daughter uh, 20 22 okay uh, she's 22 <laughs> she's at uh, university yes okay yes. good uh, good um excellent study engineer um industry oh great <laughs> great industrial engineering okay good good that's not nice to know that's nice to know hello angeli how are you there 
Hello, Leslie. Hi, Rita. Hello, Leslie. Hi, Rita. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing, everyone? I'm fine, teacher. Great, great. How are you doing, uh, Rita? Fine, teacher. Great, that's nice to know, and I'm happy to hear that. How are you doing, Angeli? Okay. Hello, Elvia. How are you today? Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, I'm Elvia. Fine. Great. That's nice. That is really nice to hear. Okay, guys, we are going to start today with the same activity as always. Okay. You have to take the attendance. Yay. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're going to start even uh, even our, well, some of your classmates are still connecting, but um, in the meantime, I'm going to start, okay? Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Okay. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Eduard Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Presente. Okay, great. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. There is some people missing here. Okay, it was in. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Isaac Montoya. Mi, mi libro. Ok, María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero, you are there, right? Yes, present. Ok, there we go. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto, excellent. Welcome. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm happy to see you all today. Um, I hope you are doing good today. And we're starting today with our vocabulary practice. Today we have some activities where you are going to complete um, some exercises in your manuals. But first of all, I just want to make a little um, review and let's do this as a way or as a manner of feedback, okay? This is just to practice and uh, let me share the screen and I will show you some things first, okay? Here we are. Here we are, we have uh, these questions. We were talking about um, 
problems or issues that a customer might have when they go and purchase a, purchase a product and um, maybe they have problems before trying to choose the product or the correct product or trying to understand the prices, those, those are issues. And they, may, they might have problems during the purchase. Maybe they don't know where to find out a product, where is it located on the store, or maybe they cannot access into their account to, uh, in order to complete their purchase. So, uh, they can also have problems after purchase. For example, maybe they uh, received a damaged product or maybe uh, they received a faulty product or maybe it's a stain and it is not in, uh, this product is not in good conditions. So let's see some questions that a customer might uh, might ask into, um, customer service department, okay? So let's try to read and understand each of these questions, okay? First of all, let's read number one here. This is just a practice. Do you see the title here or the topic here? FAQs, do you know what does it mean, FAQs? Do you have any idea what does it mean? What does FAQ stand for? Maybe frequently asked questions, teacher. Great, great. Frequent asked questions, okay? Or frequently asked questions, good. And it means that these questions are usually repeated time after time when a, from a customer to another customer and another customer are doing or are asking the same question. So let's see these questions. Uh, number one, it says, can I return this product? 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 Excellent. Can I return this product? Can I return this product? Now, can I ask for a refund? Can I ask for a refund? Can I ask for a refund? Okay, could you please tell me about the warranty policy? Could you, could you please, please, please tell me about, me about the warranty, warranty policy? policy? Could you please tell me about the warranty policy? Could you please tell me about the warranty policy? Could I get the second product with a discount? Could I get the second product with a discount? Could I get the second product with a discount? Could I get the second product with a discount? Could I get an extra 20% discount using my loyalty card? Could I get an extra 20% discount using my loyalty card? Could I get an extra 20% discount using my loyalty card? Excellent. May I ask you, what do you mean? May I ask you, what do you mean? Okay, so now here we can also say what you mean, okay? What you mean, it's correct without the do. It's correct if we don't use do, it is correct also, okay? And it's more common to use what you mean instead of what do you mean, okay? So, but uh, let's learn it like this. May I ask you what do you mean? What I mean, what do you mean? I ask you what do you mean? What do you mean? Great. Could you send me an email explaining the return policy process? Could you send me an email explaining the return policy process? Could you send me an email explaining the return policy process? Could you send me an email explaining the return policy process? Great. Can I get a copy of my payment confirmation? 
Can I get a copy of my payment confirmation? Can I get a copy of my payment confirmation? Can you tell me the difference between product X or and product Y? Can you tell me, you tell me the difference between product X and product Y? Y. Why? Yes, correct. I'd like to know when you are shipping this order. I'd like to know when you are shipping this order. I'd like to know when you are shipping this order. Can you provide me with a tracking number? Can you provide me with a tracking number? Can you provide me with a tracking number? Can you provide, can you provide me what I'm talking number? Okay, great. Now, let's remember that these questions are using polite expressions or the polite way to ask or to request this information. Now, let's think about another way to ask the same question, okay? To ask the same question. And let's use would like to okay for example number one can i return this product ah then what do you think is the way to ask if we use would like to instead of six and instead of asking then I'm going to say what I want, okay? And I'm going to say, I'd like to return this product, okay? And it's the same thing when you are on the phone, okay? I'd like to return this product. It's the same if you say, can I return this product? I'd like to return this product, okay? This is another way, and it's a very polite way to say it. In this case, in this case, we are saying what we want or what's our wish, okay? Or what our wish is. And, and this, you are like requesting, uh, waiting for an answer of yes or no, okay? Asking for... Uh, the, uh, requesting the information, yes or no. But in this case, for example, if you say, I'd like to return this product. Also the customer service agent is going to tell you if it is possible or if uh, it isn't, okay? So it's the same thing. So now let's think about number two. Can I ask for a refund? Can you use like to, would like to, uh, to say this in a different way? Can I ask for a refund? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's the same as the first one, okay? It's the same as, as the first one. I'd like to return okay. this product. Mm -hmm. Then the next I'd one. I'd like to. I like to ask for a refund. Excellent. Okay. You are requesting something. Okay. I'd like to ask for a refund. Um, now, this one is okay. Could you please tell me about the warranty policy? Also, we could say, uh, let's imagine another. Can you imagine another? Can you say another? Uh, sentence saying the same thing? Always I, right? I'd I like, like to know. Uh -huh. the warranty. Uh, mm -hmm. the warranty. The warranty, warranty policy. policy. Okay, great, great. Now let's see the other one. Mm -hmm. 
could I get an extra 20% discount? Uh, I'm sorry. Could I get the second product with a discount? How do you think I, uh, I we can like. get it? Uh -huh. I'd like. I'd like. Mm -hmm. the, the disco. I'd like to. I'd like to, Jeff. Uh huh. Uh, 20. To get the second, okay, uh-huh. The second product with a discount, right? Discount. I'd like to get the second product with a discount. And in both ways, in both ways, people is... <laughs> Re, uh, people are requesting um, in a very polite way, okay? This is a very polite way to request something that you want or something that you are wishing in that moment, okay? You can use this way and you can use this other way. This is very direct. This is very direct. This is uh, with a question, you are allowing the people to say yes or no, okay? Allowing the people to say yes or no, correct? So if you see, we can use the language in different ways, okay? In different ways, and we are saying the same thing. So let's go to these other, uh, do you have any question about the vocabulary in these um, questions? Do you have any question about the vocabulary or maybe grammar here? Let me check. Uh -huh. uh, loyal, loyalty, loyalty card. Loyalty card. Oh, those are cards that the stores gives you. Uh, the store, I'm sorry, any store can give you these kind of cards um, because you are a frequent buyer. Okay, you are a frequent client. You you buy a lot in that store. So um, also they are called loyalty cards. Those cards like uh, puntos, right, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Now, uh, anyone else? Do you have any um, question about the vocabulary in these questions? Okay, now let's go to the next activity. This is for you to remember about how to use would like, okay? There we go. I sent this conversation to the group. I hope you have it already. And uh, what are we going to do here? CSA means customer service agent and cust means customer, okay? It's short for customer. So let's see what is this conversation about? What are they asking for and what are they answering to that request, okay? So let's see here. Um, and the first line or the first blank that you have here, we are going to substitute our own names, okay? Our own names. So now I'm going to use two hypothetical names, okay? I'm going to read it for you. Thank you for calling Integrated Systems. My name is Carmen. Who am I speaking with? Then, hello, my name is Rosa. Thank you, Rosa. Tell me, how can I help you? Could you please give me more information about the model A71? I saw in an, an advertisement, it has actually a 50% discount. I would like to order three if it is so. It's correct. There is, is a 
affecting this com that model i did be happy to assist you to process the purchase order thank you rosa you did it great excellent <laughs> excellent so let's continue thank you but i'd like to process it by myself online and I then person? no problem is is there an a uh, an anything uh, anything anything else that you would like me to help you with okay great do you see this is the exercise that we are going to do right now okay now i'm going to um ask again rosa and carlos okay carlos antonio murillo okay okay i want to okay. hear you guys you may start now okay yes. you say, okay thank you for calling integrated systems my name is carlos who am i speaking with hello my name my name is rosa thank you rosa tell me how can i help you can you please help me more information about the model a uh, 71 i saw in Albert, albertins albertins advertisement uh, albert time advertisement advertisement is actually a 50 50 50 discount i would like to order three if it's is so it's correct there is a 50 percent discount on that model i'd be happy to ask you to process the purchase order thank you but i like to process it by me, myself 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 myself, my, myself only online 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 oh, of course no problem is there anything else you would like to me help you with Great. Excellent. Good job, guys. Now, let's see. Carlos Ernesto and Edward. Okay. Edward CSI and <laughs> I'm sorry, CSA. <laughs> CSA and um, Carlos Ernesto customer. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Thank you for calling Interway System. My name is Edward. Who am I speaking with? Hello, my name is Carlos. Thank you, Carlos. Tell me, how can I how can I help you? Could you please me give me more information about the model A71? How so in the advertisement it has actually a 50% discount. I would like to order three if it is so. It's correct. There is a 15% discount on that model. I'd be happy you to assist you to process the push order. Thank you, but I like to process it by myself online. Of course, no problem. Is there anything else you would like me to help you with? Okay, great. So let's be careful when we pronounce the numbers okay because 50 percent ah it means completely different than 15 percent right so if you say 15 percent the customer is gonna say oh no i don't want that because it's uh, too short a discount okay 15. i need the 50 percent right 50, okay 50 okay there you go 50 50% of discount, okay, 50% discount. So let's see, Francisco, hello over there. How are you? Are hello, you? Teacher. Hi. Hello, everybody. Okay, now Francisco is gonna be the customer service agent and Fausto is going to be the customer, okay? There hey, we teacher. go. <clears throat> Thank you for calling Integrate System. My name is Francisco. Who am I speaking with? Hello, my name is Fausto. 
thank you. Thank you, Fausto. Tell me, how can I help you? Uh, could you please give me more information about the model A71? I saw in advertisement it has actually a 50% discount. I would like to order three if it is so. It's correct. There is a 50% discount on that model. It'd be happy to assist you to process the purchase order. Thank you. Uh, but it like to process it by myself online? Of course, no problem. Is there anything else you would like me to help you with? Excellent. Remember here the pronunciation for I would in a contracted form, it would be I'd. I'd. Let's say it. I'd. This. This. I'd. 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 Correct. I'd. We don't say it. We say I'd. Okay. Great. 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 Okay, now, Rita and Angeli. Are you still there, Angeli? Yes. Okay. Angeli, customer service agent, and Rita, customer. Okay. Thank you for calling Integrate Systems. My name is Angeli. Who am I speaking with? Hello, my name is Rita. Thank you, Rita. Tell me, how can I help you? Could you please give me more information about the model A771? I saw in advertisement it has actually a 50% discount. I would like to order three if it is so. It's correct. There is a 50% percent discount on the on that model i'd be happy to assist you to the process to purchase order thank you but i like to process it by myself online online of course no problem is there anything else you would like to, you would like me to help you with Excellent, excellent. You did a great job. Let's remember here that when we have this ED at the end on the uh, past part participle, this is a participle, but uh, don't pay attention of the participle, but the pronunciation, when you see this at the end, it is integrated, okay? Integrated. Integrated. Yes, integrated systems, integrated, integrated. correct. Okay. okay, then do you have any question about how to use I would like to, you would like to, we would like to, etc.? Do you have any question about that? No questions? In my case, no uh -huh. teacher. Okay, great. For this me woman, teacher. no teacher. Okay, teacher. okay. Then could you please tell me, well, anyone of you, okay? Tell me, when do we use would like to? When do we use would like to? Teacher, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Why in the in, in this case, mm -hmm. for example, uh, sometimes use I and sometimes use I would like. Uh, for what example, what is the difference between in, in, in the in both uh, use? Okay, using the contraction and using the full form. Okay, the yes. complete form is used in. Um, in a formal way, in a formal way. 
And the most common way and to sound like a native speaker or the usual usual speaking then or everyday English is, is using contractions as must as you can. Okay, using contractions as must as you can. And also you can use the complete the complete form like to um, uh, be diverse, uh, to make a variety, okay? To don't sound so um, boring, okay? So boring, because if we uh, use the same, the same, the same, and the same, I think uh, it's going to seem not good, okay? Not pleasant to hear you speaking. So if you use contractions as uh, most that you can, then you can do that. Don't worry. You can use only contractions if you want. You can use the complete way also when you want to seem more, more, more formal. I'm sorry, more formal. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. But there is no problem using the complete or the full form or the contraction. It's better to use the contractions. Okay. There you go. Any, uh, anyone else uh, wants to ask? No? No, teacher. Okay, Thanks. thank you very much. So let's go to our manual now, okay? Uh, is it possible for you to see what I'm seeing here? The manual? Do you see the manual on the screen? No? Okay, then I have to do the complete way from here. I'm trying to learn different ways how to share the, uh, in a better way, the screen. So, okay, here we are. We are on the manual. The first activity, because we are on page 27 and we have this vocabulary practice. Today, we are gonna have fun doing exercises, okay? Just practicing the vocabulary. And let's read the instruction. Can you please read the instructions? Um, let's see, Leslie, are you there? Oh yes, there you are. Okay, <laughs> could you please read this instruction? Read it. Just read the instruction. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, match the, the different step to follow when working on uh, online purchase. Excellent. Um, do you have any question? Do you understand everything here? What we have to do? Do you yes, remember teacher. this process? Okay, yes. thank you, Carlos. Do you remember this process? Okay, then if you, uh, we have to remember the complete process when you go to do a purchase online, okay? When you buy online, we follow some steps. So let's read here and let's complete the information or the phrase. Okay, here we have credit cards, confirm your information, select the items, go to the, Write check, confirm the method login to purchase the price to your account information, online web page of payment, submit and billing address. Okay. Now, uh, is it possible? Let's see. Is it possible for you guys to do the same as we did on Friday that you could do the match? Can you go into and do the match? Let's try. Excellent. Well, teacher. Okay, good. Carlos Antonio, right? This one was Carlos Antonio. Mm -hmm. So next one, who wants to, uh, who wants to do it? There you go, Carlos, go ahead. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Francisco, go, go. No, no. It doesn't no give it. It doesn't uh -huh. give it. Okay. Let's see. Why don't you close uh, close it and then you do it again? Someone else also? Okay, there you go, Francisco. Log in to your account. Good. Okay, do me a favor, guys. When you uh, make your, your arrow here, please say it. Okay, say it. There you go, Edward. Check the price. Great. Check the price. Okay, great. Who did it? Who did this one, the red one? Me, teacher. Okay, great. Uh, could you please say it? Read it. To confirm your information. And? Submit. Great, great. Let's see who did this one, the green one. Select the items. Can you read it, please? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Can you read it, please? Select the items to purchase. Great, good. Okay, who goes next? Confirm the method of payment. Okay, great. Confirm the method of payment. Can you do the arrow here to do the match? Right, really address? Right. Billing address. Okay, write your billing address, good. Mm -hmm. Can you please do the arrow here? Excellent, thank you. Thank you, Carlos. What's missing here? Credit card information. Okay. Can someone draw the line? There you go. Uh-huh. Think we finished, right? Yeah. Did we finish? Yes, we did, I think. There we go. We did it. We did it, guys. So can you tell me the first step, please? What's the first step when you go online to purchase? Go to the online online web page, teacher. Great. Go to the web uh, the online web page. Number two or second step. Login to your account. Great, login to your account. Number three or the third step. Select the items to purchase. Select the items. items. The item to purchase. Great, Num uh, uh, the fourth, the fourth step. Check the price. Okay, good. Check the price. Fifth step. Confirm, Confirm the, the payment. Okay, good. 
Now, the sixth step. Write billing address. Write your billing address, good, or the billing address, good. Next one, what will be the next step? Seventh step. Credit card information. Okay, the credit cards information. Credit cards, it means the, right? The, so credit cards information, good. Credit cards. Mm -hmm. And uh, number eight, and the eighth step. What will be the last step, the eighth step? Confirm your information. And? Submit. 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 Good. Excellent. So now that we know the whole process, okay? Now we know the whole process. Uh, <laughs> we, I always do that. I never erase before moving. Okay, there we go. Did you take note? Yes? If not, we go back in the video, right? There we go. We have that advantage today. Now let's go to the next activity. And the next activity is very important because we learned how to uh, identify the problems or the reasons why a customer can return a product and ask for a refund, okay? Now, uh, let's think. We are going to write, just write, acceptable reasons for a refund or for asking, I mean, to ask for a reason and an accept unacceptable reasons, okay? Unacceptable reasons. We started only acceptable, right? Do you remember when a product was defective or faulty or stained or not in good conditions, etc.? So let's write some here, okay? Acceptable reasons. What do you think? Can someone tell me one? Valid reasons to ask for a refund. Mm -hmm. What issues might a product have? Broken product. Excellent. A broken product. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Factory fault. Mm -hmm. Wrong color. Uh, we saw this one like um, faulty product. Okay. And what was the other one? I'm sorry, Angeli, you said something? Wrong, Wrong. color. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
size is not correct. Ah, uh -huh. this is my problem because letter Z is not possible still in my keyboard. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna try to, uh, believe me, I tried to fix it and it was not possible. So I've got to get another keyboard. Okay, now uh, size, uh-huh. With X. <laughs> oh, yeah, I imagine. <laughs> it's not correct. There we go. Okay, now what will be an, an, an unacceptable reason? What do you think? The price. The price, what do you think about the price? Give me an example. Oh. What do you think, guys? The price could be an unacceptable reason? Uh, maybe around the price. Ah, the wrong price, good. Extra charges, right? Good, excellent. The wrong, ah, oh, but this is an unacceptable reason. Unacceptable will be, right? The wrong price. Let's take this one over here. Then yes, we can make the, the wrong price. It means that extra charges right extra charges okay but an unacceptable reason could be do you do you remember the that in those stores and those companies they have that policy and they say if you misuse it use this product then it's not our responsibility we are not responsible for a misuse right Misused, okay. Teacher. Misused, uh huh. Could be, I don't want that product anymore. Uh, do you think that could be an unacceptable reason? Yeah. I mm. paid some any product, uh -huh. but when the when the company or the the store send mm -hmm. me. I can tell the seller, I'm sorry, I don't want this product or that product. Okay, but yeah. that will be an acceptable reason, okay? That yeah. will be an acceptable because, uh, okay, here we are misunderstanding the thing because acceptable reason is when you are going to apply a refund, right? So for example, yes, it is correct. Maybe you don't need any more that product and they deliver too late that product. You needed that product for yesterday, not for today when you received it. It's not uh, useful anymore. So you want to return it. So yes, that's correct. It's acceptable reason, right? It's, uh, I. Uh, this is the problem because here we have to say an like this. Do you see the difference in why it means something like, like different? Unacceptable. And here is unacceptable. Okay. Do yeah. you see the difference here? So right now we are in the unacceptables. Okay. In the unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh -huh. warranty expired. Teacher. Oh. Good, excellent. Warranty, warranty expired. Oh, Good. When the, the mm -hmm. customer um, mm -hmm. ya ha utilizado, está usado ya. Oh, okay. I, when it is used. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry. It op they open the package, right? 
Okay. Yes. If it is in your refund policy that you cannot open the package before you want to return it, yes, it applies. But usually, Over. usually uh, it doesn't apply, but we're going to write it that way. Okay. Uh, they Over. are customer. Over. Let's see. Over. Customer Over. used the product. Okay. In some case, uh, when the mm -hmm. the ticket you have to you have to present the ticket, mm -hmm. but if you don't have the ticket, it's not okay. Um, it doesn't I, proceed, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct, correct. So it means that. Um, missing receipt okay missing receipt there you go you cannot prove that you you don't have a proof that you purchased that product in that store yes that's yes. correct that's good mm -hmm. good Teacher, so you, ex excuse me when i bring a run the product specification Okay, when you chose a, you, you chose a different product or um, can you explain that more, please? Uh, for example, I need a um, cell phone with um, sorry, um, 1, 000, 1, 000, oh, <laughs> Well, when three cameras, Okay, example. three cameras, uh-huh. Um, but I write two cameras. Oh, uh, okay, it was your mistake. Ah, uh, yes, Okay, yes, uh -huh. okay, then yes, it's an, an unacceptable reason because they order what you specified, okay? Yes, that's a good, uh, let's try to name this thing here. Um, Customers make mistake, right? Customer mistake. Good. Customer mistake. Then it's not, uh, we cannot accept that. Okay, yes, correct, good. So if you see here, we have some reasons that are um, acceptable and reasons when it is not possible to process a refund, okay? Uh, we cannot credit back the customer for these reasons, okay? There we go. Do you have any question here? No questions? Okay, so let's see. We're going to the next part. We're going to the next part. Just let me get there. And let's continue here. Okay, so now you are going to do this without my help, okay? This is really easy and you will solve it together, okay? You will solve it as a team, as a team. Okay, let's see who wants to be the moderator here. Let's uh, let's say someone as a moderator here. Okay, the moderator is going to be Fausto. Okay, and I'm just going to see how you um, solve these situations. Okay, first of all, read the instructions, Fausto. Read the description and write down the correct demonstrative pronoun. See, that is the dog. Okay. Okay, everyone. Number one.
Anyone else, teacher? Yes, everybody. Everybody okay. as a team. You are going okay. to help. Uh, Fausto is the moderator, okay? Moderator. Okay. It means that he is going to moderate if you uh, have a disagreement here, okay? Okay. There okay. you go. There you go. Number one. Number one. How can you buy something like this? What do you think, people? Is it correct? This person is talking about a person in your hand. In your hand. In your hand, this, this. Are you sure? The purse, the purse is not in the hand, the um, the hand of the person who's talking. Okay, it's in your hand. Okay. Sorry. Okay. In, in that in that case, mm -hmm. is that how could you buy something like that? Because the product is in the in, in the hand on the other people, not in my my hand. Okay, what do you think, Rita? What do you think, Walter? That. Okay, what do you think, Rosa? It's, uh, it's that. Okay, pointing, right? Pointing, that. What do you think, Fausto? Is that, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. So write down over there, that. Who wants to be writing on the board? Who wants to be writing on the board? Is it okay, Wilfredo? Do you want to write on the board? I, I will try, teacher. Okay, try, please. <laughs> Oh, sorry. There you go. Thank you. Okay, Fausto, continue. Number two. Okay, guys, answers. Reports are very heavy. Where are the reports? Where are the reports? This report are very heavy. Okay, good. Uh, I... As if you are talking, right? Okay, Rita said. Say it, say it again, Rita. With a Pile of report on your lap. Okay, so what will be the correct um, demonstrative pronoun over there? And number two, what do you think, Walter? What do you think, Edward? I, I think is those. Those reports are very heavy. Okay, those reports. Those are, do you agree with this? Carlos? 
Maybe teacher is um uh, is this because this. he's speaking about the course in my lab. Oh. Okay, because you are talking, right? You were saying yes. that you were saying the complete expression there, right? As if you have something here and you say these reports are very heavy because you have them on your lap, right? You get it? Everybody agrees? Yes. Okay. Yes. There you go. Okay, okay. Who I wants understand. to write it there? Who wants to write it there? Can you, Carlos? There you go. Thank you very much. Number three, what do you think? Fausto, continue, Fausto. I'm going to say it ahead, okay? <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. Now you are the teacher. There you go. Okay, guys, uh, I had to wear uh, comfortable shoes about I, uh, why is pronounced bow? But. But. But, uh-huh. I, but. During a long walk. Fausto asked, what do you think, guys? What do you think, guys? <laughs> Mm. Ya viene. Ideas. Vamos, teacher. Okay. Oh, you are talking to Fausto. Fausto is the teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think those Fausto. Okay. What do you think, Walter? Okay, it says during, remember oh. during. So you are walking, you are walking. And if, uh huh. Okay, what do you think? Now let, let me let me um give a little opinion here, okay? A piece of um observation, right? Remember that at this moment or in the moment that the person is talking is wearing the shoes. Okay. So this person has the shoes on at the moment that he's talking because it is during a long walk. Okay? So what do you think it is here? I had to wear what? I had to wear this, what? This teacher. This, this. This. Okay, plural and I have to near, right? Yeah. Okay. Near. Go ahead. Can you write it down over there, please? Someone of you, any one of you who wants to write it down. What's writing? Edward, there you go. Okay, Fausto, continue. Okay, okay. Uh, number four. Uh, can you bring me up a left in another pointing at a cup on a far desk? What do you think, Edward? Okay, Fausto. Can you bring me 
Um, I may be, well, I think is uh, that, Fausto. Okay, uh, somebody else? That, Fausto. That. Can you, yes, can you bring me that cup, uh, that cup? I left in Anna's, in Anna's desk because the cup is on the other desk. It's not near me. It's okay. far from me. Cool. What do you think, uh, Carla? I think that. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry, sorry. Continue, teacher Fausto. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, uh, answer. Is it, possi is it possible someone um, to write on the board? Okay, there you go. Thank you, Edward. Continue, Thank continue. You. Okay, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no problem, teacher. No problem. Okay, okay. Angeli is going to send uh, her answers through the chat, okay? Because okay. she's having problem with, problems with the audio. Next one. one. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, next one. Are Mr. Pineda's children about a vicious oh hanging? Hanging, uh-huh. Hanging. On the world. Thou, thou. Those are Mr. Pineda's children about people. Why? Why dogs? Carla? Those are Mr. Pineda's children about a picture hanging on the wall. What do you think, uh, Wilfredo? Uh, it is okay. Those are Mr. Pineda's children. Those are Mr. Pineda's children. I get that. Okay, very good. Why in... Did you remember? Uh-huh. It is because uh, it's plural, right? It is because it is plural. And also, it's not near, right? They're pointing to the wall, okay? We cannot touch it. We cannot touch it. It's not near. So, yes, those, those. those. It is correct. So, someone can write it down over there? Okay, now let's change the moderator. You did a great job, Fausto. Thank you. Now Wilfred is going to be the moderator for number six. Okay, I'm going to be a teacher. Yes, you are going to be the teacher. Okay. Welcome, teacher please, Wilfredo. Please pay attention. Attention. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Walter, what do you think about the number six? Uh, it is white. Uh... 
I'm Walter sorry. has a question, teacher Wilfredo. Tell me, Walter, I didn't hear you. Walter, please activate your audio. Somebody, somebody excuse, will help to Walter. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. As a team, as a team. Okay. In this picture, you see me, wife, and dot girl about a guy on the web. Uh, this is correct. This. Okay. Let me see. What about in the team? Somebody want to help to Walter? Excuse me, excuse me. I am asking to the rest of the group. What do you think in this correct this answer? Um, teacher Wilfredo, me, I, I think is I think in in this case I think is that. Okay, we have to answer. What about Fausto and Carla? Would you tell your answer, please? I think, I guess. I think uh, that. That. Is okay. Walter, say, Walter oh, says. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I remember. Uh, and this is that. that. And about the picture of the, um, the web. In the pegando en la pared. Ah, because the because because the picture hanging on the wall uh -huh. is okay. is fear. Uh, come on. Uh, far. Far, far is far, N not is near. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. What is the answer, teacher Wilfredo? For me, this in this picture, you see my wife and daughter. For me, it's that because he's talk about the, the the pictures, not about the persons on the on the pictures. For me, it's that because he's singular in his object. What do you think? Let me, let me see. What do you think, Rita? Rita uh, and Rosa, you are be quiet. That, that body is a picture no uh persons i see persons but uh speak the picture in hanging on the wall for you is the answer is that yes. <laughs> uh huh. So <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's explain this. And you are completely right, Wilfredo, and everyone is right. Why? Because it depends on the distance, uh, uh, the uh, the distance between the person and the object that you're talking about. Usually, when you are showing something, you are near the thing. But if you are pointing something, then you are far, okay? So in this case, it says that you are talking about a picture hanging on the wall, but it doesn't say the distance where you are, okay? So it could be this, if you are near the picture. For example, here I've got, uh, uh, if you see a painting there, okay? And if I, if I tell you right here, I say this, this, I can touch it, right? 
okay. the flowers in this picture, okay? I can say that, but I can say this too. I am a little uh, farther from the, from the painting. So I can say those, okay? Those flowers or that picture. The flowers on that picture. If you see the distance between the object and the person is uh, one that it's going to define what to use, okay? If you are near, if you are near, in any way near, in any way, it doesn't matter that I can point it right here, okay? I can, I can point it and I'm near, okay? So I can say this picture because I am demonstrating what picture, okay? So yes, you can use this or you can use that and it would be okay, all right? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, 50, there you 50. go. 50 50. <laughs> yes. Do you remember? <laughs> Teacher, <laughs> excuse me. If I if if I have a picture in my hand, I can say that picture. Um, not exactly. No, because you have it in your hand, so you have to say this picture. This picture. You have it ah, in okay. your hand. It's this picture. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do okay. you remember the activity that we did at the beginning of this um, unit where we wrote this and that, this and that, and we had that situation that we didn't know the distance between the object and the person who was talking. So in that case, it could be this or it could be that, okay? But there are some situations that it, it is very clear that something is far away or something is clearly near the person who is talking. So I think here it is this or that, and it is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, good, 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 good. So now we are going to the next activity, but first of all, let me take the attendance, please. Okay. Let me, oh, one second. I'm going to erase this before. Let me go there. There we go. Angeli Magali Coronado Díaz. Present. Okay. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Eh, Carla, perdón, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Francisco. Present teacher. Ok, Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. But Maria Fernanda was there one moment. I remember. Um, Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay, there you are, Silvia. I didn't know you were there. Sorry, sorry. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay, now we are going to continue with this vocabulary practice and our in our um, manuals, we have another exercise. It, it is page 28, I think. Let me go there. Okay. And it says, complete the different questions and ask them to a partner. It says, complete the different questions and ask them to a partner and write down the answer, okay? Now, and here we're going to um, 
Imagine case scenarios, okay? Case scenarios. Case scenarios means an, um, a thing that we know that happened and um, it's very usual, it's very frequent. So for example, if we are gonna say, what can you, we have to imagine an object or a thing here, okay? Can you give me an idea? Can you give me an idea of a question using what can you? Go to your notes and check. Go to your notes and check. What can you, what? Here they are talking about a thing, right? Now, number two, when could you? When could you? What are we going to ask for time? Time, okay? Where, where can you? Ah, for a place, right? For a place. How could you? Ah, in a manner, a way to do something. Who can you? Ah, uh, someone, a person or maybe the, the position job, okay? Who can you? Why could you? A reason, a reason why something is happening, right? So now I want to check some questions that you can use there. And I'm going to send this picture in, through the group, okay? Just let me go there and I will give you this. Okay, these questions, do you remember that we changed them into a different question uh, or a different expression like using would like to, right? But here we are gonna use what can, uh, what can you, where can you, you can change these questions into those, okay? There we go. I'm going to send this one through the chat. And we are going to the breakout room, okay? Okay, who said so? Francisco, okay. Okay. Okay, Francisco, no problem. But you um, may pay attention and take your notes, okay? And after you can uh, watch the video again, okay? No problem, Francisco. So let's, let's do this. I'm going to do just one example, okay? Can I return this product? Can I return this product? This give me an idea, okay? This give me an idea. On the chat, I'm going to write, for example, where can I return this product? For example, okay? You got the idea? Where can I return this product? I'm asking for an address, okay? I'm asking for an address. So the answer for that question, what could be? What could be the answer for, where can I return this product? What could be the answer? You can return it in the store, in the principal store. Great, you can return it in the, okay, we're gonna say principal. Store, store, okay. Uh, it's okay, principal store or um, headquarters. the central, the central or the headquarters, but the headquarters usually it's administration. Okay, uh, headquarters usually is the offices uh, from where the managers are, okay. 
usually is not there where we return the products to the headquarters, usually, unless they have the warehouse over there for receiving the return packages. But if in this case, we are talking about a physical place where the person goes with the physical thing, then I think we could say to the central store or uh, it's okay to the principal store, uh, but the correct, I think it will be the main, okay? The main, the main store. Okay, yeah. Okay. The main store. You could use central, you could use principal, but I think the best word will be main. Okay, now that will be the answer. You can return it in the main store. And if I don't know where the main store is, then I can ask, uh, can you give me the address, please? Okay. There you go. So now you are going to practice and you are going to complete the questions and the answers. I send you some ideas how to do these questions, okay? So there we go. We are gonna break out this room into groups. Okay, there you are, guys. Angeli, are you there? Did you receive the invitation? I'm sorry, teacher. Okay. I have a problem with the connection. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to assign you to a group, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, you were in room five let's see I'm going to move you move you to okay thank you okay you're welcome no problem How is it going? Everything okay? Solo tenemos una duda. Okay, tell me, tell me. Este, eh, cualquier oración vamos a poner nosotros. Yes, your own sentence. Okay, your ideas, your ideas. I gave you only um, ideas. Okay, ideas. When I sent you the image, only ideas. But it's your own. Okay. 
It's your own. For example, number one, what do you think you could write? And number one, what can you... What can you... Te puedes comprar con... <laughs> okay then let's let's translate that what can you buy what can you buy uh-huh leslie complete the sentence um, or the question este, uh -huh. what can you buy what can you with with five dollars uh-huh excellent what can you buy with five dollars good so an answer any idea for an answer? Uh, one can you buy with five dollars? Okay. Now, an answer for that question? Uh, uh, you can buy cookies. Good. You can buy cookies. Uh huh. <laughs> You can buy your lunch. <laughs> you can pay for your lunch. Uh huh. Okay. What do you think you can buy with five dollars, Elvia? You can buy. Earrings. Mm -hmm. Earrings, yes, you can buy some earrings. Yes, handmade. Oh, they are so <laughs> nice and beautiful. Yes, you're right. Good. Uh huh. Now you, Leslie, what can you buy with five dollars? Yeah. You can. You can. Mm. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice cachucha? Cap. Uh, you can you can you can buy a cup. You can buy a cup. Good, good, good. Okay, continue. Number three, I think, because we need number two, right? together. So number three. Teacher. Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. Could you try me the bag? When? Could you try me the bag or the items? Okay. We're talking about time, right? Uh, when? What is the idea here? You want to try something? You make a try or um, a trial for that? Yes. Okay, uh, then will be when can I do a trial? Or what can make a trial? I'm sorry, when, when, I'm sorry, when. When, when can we make a trial? Okay, trial. Trial will be the uh, the time for proving the uh, or testing the product. Okay. Okay. Trial. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's use our own vocabulary, guys. Mm. Let's see, Elvia. When do you think you can do a trial of your new dress, for example, for your wedding dress, for example? <laughs> When, 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 uh huh, time, a date, or time, mm -hmm. yeah, yes, time. That's when we ask, when, when can you do a trial? Do a trial of a new dress. That's what Rita said, okay. 
Ella dice que eh, cuando podemos hacer la prueba de la nueva bolsa o del nuevo vestido o de el producto, okay. right? So when can we or can you have a trial of your new dress? Is that correct, Rita? Yes. Okay. Anthony. When do you think, Rita, when? it's okay? When do you think, Elvia? When do you think, Leslie? Everybody is speaking here. When? The next. Mm -hmm. Next weekend. Good, excellent. Next weekend is okay. Aha, uh -huh. very good, very good. So next one, you continue and I go to another group, okay? Continue okay, doing the same. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome, no problem. See you. Ah, podríamos decir those products porque son ya, ya es plural. ¿no? Entonces, uh -huh. por ejemplo, en la respuesta yo digo: The first one is a refrigerator, nine, nine cube feet, dry cold, and the another is ten cube feet. Por ejemplo, yo estoy hablando de una, de una refrigeradora entre una y otra. Que estamos por comparando. ejemplo. Ajá, ah, bueno. Okay, but uh, in this case, we can use uh, in the in the question no product X and Y. Uh, mm -hmm. You can write in uh, uh, maybe. What well, can you tell me about the difference between both refrigerators, for example? Yes. Yes. But I am not saying X or Y product. So if we have a request from the refrigerator. La pregunta también tiene que ser acerca de un refrigerador. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. This or that refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Both refrigerator, did you? Both is okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both is okay. Okay, then what number of questions are you in? In the first. <laughs> but the first one is what can you? What can you what? What did you write? Uh, what can you what? tell me about the difference between oh. both refrigerators? Okay, what can you tell me? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. So what will be the answer? The, the first answer? One, the first the first one. Uh-huh. The first, the first one is an is a refrigerator nine Q feet dry coal and that another is a um, 10 Q feet, Q feet. Oh, okay. I will say an easier one. Okay, this one has more space to storage and this one has less space to storage. Okay, okay. remember storage. Let's use our own vocabulary. The vocabulary from the, from the manual is very useful. So mm -hmm. let's try to use it here, okay? Use it, use it okay. as much as you can. So continue, I'm, okay. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, okay. Um, now, number two. We said it on the chat. Where can you? Where? Mm -hmm. When, this is when. When? when, okay, mm -hmm. number when? two, when, okay. We are talking about time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh huh. When could you wait? <laughs> waiting, teacher. <laughs> yes, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> take your time. Take your time. <laughs> okay. And the ideas that you have in the picture? Uh, yes, maybe, teacher. You uh, have. A, uh huh. Uh, when is when could you when could you tell me 
uh -huh. what is the place uh, uh -huh. what is the place for I can't return this product okay when could you tell me okay it's the same as what can you tell me so let's uh, do a different over there but yes it is correct it is correct uh -huh. it is correct but now let's see when is it okay to return the product okay when is it okay to return the product because that's what you're asking for right um is it when when could you when could you remember when could yes, you it's when could you mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay repeat the question that you said before when could you when could you tell me uh, what is the play uh can i return the, this product Okay, and what will be the answer? Um, maybe can you return in the in the principal store? I don't uh, know. But we're talking about time, right? When could you, or where could you? What? Where? Where are we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting confused. <laughs> One moment. Let me see here. Oh, when, when could you? That's number two. Mm -hmm. Okay, number and two. number three is where can you? Where, uh -huh. So if um, we're maybe. talking about time, remember a date, uh, time, or maybe a season, for example. Mm -hmm. Or, or maybe a, a uh -huh. time frame. Uh -huh. Maybe... For the question, maybe uh, be there uh, when um, well, you said when could you tell me? When right? could yeah, but, but maybe when could you when could well, no when could you tell me? Uh, mm, in Espanol, teacher. Okay, let's try. Let's I'm try. sorry. Let's try. Yes. Um, when could you tell me? When could you receive this product? Maybe. Oh, great. When could you receive the product? Good. This is, for example, that you are expecting uh, delivery, right? So mm -hmm. when could you receive the product? Good. So you, yeah, what okay. will be the answer? What will be the answer? Uh, maybe whatever day in the weekend. Uh, any, and I talk any, any day. Any, any day. Uh -huh. any. And maybe uh, in uh, in my lunch lunch time. Maybe. Oh, that's good. 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 Yes. Good. Yes. Uh, the thing here will be any day or any weekday. Okay, any weekday. Mm -hmm. Any weekday during lunch time. Lunch time is between 12 and 2, right? For example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And you can say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then when could you receive the product? Now let's say the answer again. Any weekday. Any weekday. Uh huh. Uh, between my lunch time? During. During, during my during. lunch time. Lunch time okay. is between 12, 12 and 2. Okay, okay, between 12 and 2. Okay, then number three, Carlos. Where? Where can you? Um, Carlos. <laughs> um, Carlos. Oh, Which I'm Carlos? sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Carlos Antonio. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Carlos Ernesto. Oh, guys, you got me. You got me with that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, and and my husband's name is also Carlos, and he was like, <laughs> like this right there in the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> so which yeah. Carlos here? <laughs> it's a common name. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, now number three, Carlos Antonio. Uh, sorry, I, I think it's. <laughs> okay, no problem. Can where you... can you, where can you, uh, 
Where can you buy some milk, can you... for example? Um, sorry? <laughs> no, this is an idea from me, okay, okay, my own. But I could ask, where can you buy milk, for example? And the okay. answer, at the supermarket, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's do this uh, simpler because we have limited vocabulary. We don't have to look up the vocabulary that we don't know. We have to use the vocabulary that we know, okay? So here, mm -hmm. where can you store where can you uh, for, for example when, mm -hmm. when where can you return this where can you return this product excellent where can you return this product and then what will be the answer um, at the principal store or on the um, warehouse um, in warehouse at in Main Street. Uh, excellent, excellent. Because you're talking about a place. Good. Number yeah. four. How could you? How could you both? Okay, I'm going to leave you here, and I'm going to another group. Okay, continue working okay. and practicing. See you. Okay. Bye. Sí, no, la última no. I don't no. have any idea. Have any Hello, idea. how are you doing? Hey, teacher. Are you doing good? Hello, teacher. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm fine too. Thank you. Sure. I'm yeah. doing great. Tell me, Francisco. Uh, teacher, uh, we don't have idea with the sick question. Which one, which one, which one you said, uh, let's see, number six. Why could you, why could you? Uh -huh. why, why could you? We're talking about reasons, okay? We're asking for reasons. When you answer a question with why, you say, ah, oh, because this and this and that, okay? Reasons, remember, reasons. So for example, I could, I could imagine, why could you return this product? Okay, then I give you the reasons that we saw in the class. Correct? Because it is defective, because it is sustained, because, okay? There you go. Okay, let's think an example, Silvia. Why could you what? I don't know. They are asking uh, for a reason. I have no idea. I'm sorry. You don't have por qué, right? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why could you? Why could you buy a bike, for example? Why could you buy a bike? Mm -hmm. Ah, because I want to go to ride to the mountain, right? Um, because uh, whatever you want to say, but in this case, for example, why could you buy a new computer? Why could you buy a new computer, right? Mm -hmm. What could be the answer for that? Because mm -hmm. the one that I had, it was not working. Okay, anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what they are asking there. Okay, let's think in uh, another example. Let's see, Francisco, why could you? Why could you buy in this store or in that Excellent. store? Excellent. Why could you buy in this store? Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Francisco, an example. Why could you change your 
Oh. The product. Oh, what? Uh, why could you buy a new phone? Oh, great. Why could you buy a new phone? And what will be the answer there? Because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why could you buy a new phone? Give me a reason. Because mine is broken. Great, excellent. You see, now we understood the idea. Great, great. Mm -hmm. For example, we could say also because it is on sale, right? Because mm -hmm. it is on sale, because it is cheap, because I have the money right, right now. So yeah, because I need it for my job. So you can give reasons when someone asks you why. Okay, why could you, in a possibility, why could you drink more water today? Why, why could you? Because, okay, and then you say the reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I'm going to leave you guys, continue uh, 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 in the speaking practice. You ask the question and answer the question, speaking, okay? okay? So, see you, bye. Thanks, Andrew. No problem. Bye. Okay, there we are. How did you feel this practice? It was good, teacher. It was good. Okay, did you feel it like easy or difficult? So, medium. 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 Okay, yeah. this is the way, this is the way to practice your vocabulary. Okay, the vocabulary from the class, from the manual. This is everyday English. So um, I think the best tip that I can give you when you want to um, uh, structure a question or structure an idea from your own, imitate. Remember the way we said something before and bring it back. Bring it and it, the idea it's going to come up, okay? So let's see, we are going to do this only, only two questions from the exercise. Rita, please ask the question and Silvia, please answer the question that Rita is going to ask, okay? Me the question. Yes, number one. What can you buy with $5? Okay, Sylvia. I can buy uh, three notebooks and some pencils. Okay, good, great answer. So now let's see, uh, question number two. Um, 
France, uh, Francisco is the same group. I oh, know. Okay, Francisco, please. Question and Angeli answers. Number two. It's having kind of trouble with the audio. Uh, uh, when, when could you send me the product information? Can you repeat, please? Uh, when could you send me the product information? Thank you. When and jelly. Um, uh, the, in the weekend, please. Okay. Saturday at PM. Okay. In this case, you have to answer uh, like in a time expression. So it will be uh on the weekend, okay? On the weekend. Okay. On the weekend, Francisco, that will be the answer. Okay, yeah. Angeli? Okay. Say it with me, on the weekend. On the weekend. Great, excellent. Okay, guys, just let me let me take the attendance and after that, uh, we're, we are dismissed. But one moment, please. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Present, teacher. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present, teacher. Eleani Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present, teacher. Okay, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay, here we are. Okay, just remember please to do your midterm test. It is important to have it done today, okay? Today, after the class, please go and uh, submit your midterm test. It is important that grade. Um, complete also the homework on the platform. And today the assessment is for Uh, someone that is not here, I think. Let's see. Francisco. Francisco, yes. Francisco is the one today. Francisco, today is your turn to stay with me in the assessment, one-to-one -one session. Um, are you able to stay? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Then everybody... Have a good night and please rest and good do night, your homework. Everybody. Okay. Achi, bye -bye. Ya terminamos. Yes. Good night. We finished. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> okay, great. Good. Good night, bye. everybody. Bye. 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 See, you See, See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. See you. Bye.
Okay, bye, bye. Only Francisco says bye. Hello, teacher. Okay, just wait. Okay, there we go, Francisco. Here we are. Okay, uh, okay tell me. Uh, okay, teacher. Um, uh, I, uh, I difficult um, uh, the difference between may and may and meet. Might. May might. and might, okay. Uh, during the weekend, I sent some information. I don't know if you were able to watch the videos that I sent, but let me explain uh, with a little, a, well, not exercise, example here, okay? From the material that we saw in the class. And for you, um, just let me get there. Okay, when do you think that we use may? And when do you think that we use might? Um, uh, what uh, are possibilities? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. um, um. Both are probability too. Okay. But permission, it's only may, okay? Um, and the most, yeah, and the most, mm, we can use may as a permission, okay? As a permission use. So uh, <clears throat> it's more common to use might in the American English, okay? But may, it's really formal. Okay, it's really formal and completely polite. It's very, very polite. So you use may, may yeah, you use may in a, in a more polite way, formal way. But both are for possibility and probability. And in Spanish, we have two figures, okay? We could say, Puedes traerme esto o puedes hacerme este favor? And you have an idea, right? Y, and the other figure is, ¿podrías hacerme este favor? Which one do you feel, which one do you feel? Okay, which one do you feel that the person is going to, uh, uh, to have um, the choice to say yes or no? Okay, which one? In Spanish, in Spanish we have puede o podría, right? So may is that figure, puede, okay? And might is that other figure, podría. podría. Okay, <laughs> then you can have the idea, then you can have the idea why may is uh, more polite or more formal, right? Um, so, for example, here we have we have some examples. The number two, if you say it might be late for that, it might be late for that. Here we are saying that the time is run out, has run out. Okay, it means that the possibility is more certain. Okay, it's more certain than if I say it may be late, okay? It may be late, it's not certain, but it might be late for that, then it is certain. So in this case, those two words are for possibility. Um, we can use them either way too. We can use them either way too. So let's read this one for you to get the idea, okay? This might be the most difficult decision she should ever make, okay? Esta podría ser la decisión más difícil, okay? Que ella haya tomado, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
este might or this word might es una posibilidad más cierta. Okay, it's more certain possibility than may. Okay, may is not so certain. And also it's, uh, it's used for permission may. If you have here, may I, may I have a seat? May I have a seat? Okay. And see another for permission. You may go home. Okay. You can use it also for expressing wishes. Okay. And I wish you, instead of staying, go home. Right. So I can tell you, you may go home. Or maybe I can wish you a very happy birthday. And I say, I may. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, you may have a happy birthday. It means that on the weekend, on the weekend is your birthday and you may have your um, happy birthday. I, I don't know if you get it like that. Do you think it's more understandable? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Thanks, teacher. Okay, no problem. And may is more used like can, okay? It's similar to can. Might is similar to could, okay? May more is polite. similar to can and might is similar to could, okay? Uh huh. Then it's a similar use, but in a very polite way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it? Teacher. Okay, great. Yes. Yes. Um, I sent some information and I sent um, some videos that you can watch with the explanation how to use may or how to use might and also the difference between them. So you can go to the uh, group and check, watch those videos and it will be very helpful. Okay. okay. okay sure. If you don't have them, please uh, let me know and I will resend the the material, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, then Francisco, I think we finished, right? Or is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, please repeat. Is there anything else that you want me uh, to help you to, uh, with? Uh, no, teacher, uh, only that. Okay, no problem then. It was my pleasure. So I think we finished. And see you then tomorrow. See you, teacher. Okay, good night. have a good night. Bye. Thanks, you.